What's up everyone? My name is Ian and today we're going to talk a little bit about emergency squawk codes. So just recently I was studying uh, with a friend, my study buddy, uh, for instrument flying. And we were on FaceTime and we were talking about emergency squawk codes. For some reason, the thing came up and all of a sudden we got really embarrassed because both of us were like, wait, which one is the lost communications? Which one is the hijack? We were sort of confused because there's three, the 7500, the 7600, and the 7700. And so we had to Google it. And it brought up a point in my mind was like, well, if we're confused sometimes, maybe other people are. Because the truth of it is, not everyone uses emergency squat codes every day. Well, I hope not, or else you're either a really bad pilot or you have a really bad mechanic. And so I just wanted to go over the three squat codes with you guys real quick uh, so we all aren't embarrassed when people ask us uh, questions that regard uh, emergency squawks. So the first one we want to remember is hijack. Now, you're in a Cessna 172 probably, or a Piper Warrior, or something small, and you're not going to get hijacked. But in the rare event that someone does sneak in the baggage claim, or in the baggage area, and you didn't see them coming, um, you're going to want to squawk 7500. Why? I don't, I don't know why it's 7500, but that's just the one they decided. And this lets air traffic control know that you're being hijacked and it's probably the least uh, way of raising alarm with the bandit inside your cockpit right now. I always have a hard time remembering all three of these. So a good way to remember the hijacking is, I always think of the five, it looks like a person. I don't, not, it kind of looks like a handicap sign person, I don't know. And I associate the five with people, so then that's hijacking. And then 7600 is the middle child. You have 7500, 7600, and 7700 for emergency squat codes. And 7600 is when you lose communications or you have a communications failure, or for some reason your comms are out. And you know air traffic control probably isn't happy because you're not responding to them. Uh, but if you squawk 7600, they're gonna see that you're not just annoyed by their demeanor or how they talk to you. You really do not have any communications. 7600 is really hard to remember. And honestly, I just remember it as the odd man out, the middle child. Uh, 75, it's easy to remember with that person analogy. And 77 is really scary already. So uh, that's easy to remember. So 7600, I just associate by memory. I remember 7600 is lost communications. You gotta remember things at some point, guys. So then last but not least is 7700, which is really for all the rest of emergencies. If you're not being hijacked or you don't have a loss in communications, you're going to squawk 7700. And that lets air traffic control know that you have something wrong in flight fire, lost engine, uh, some odd, uh, uh, I don't know, something weird, something very weird. So that's how I remember the three emergency squawk codes. It might seem simple to remember three squawk codes and which one goes with which, but honestly, if you're not using them every day, which I addressed earlier on, you probably don't wanna be using them every day, it gets easy to forget. And so I hope this video, I hope uh, the little association with the five and the person uh, helps you, if not, leave in the comments what you use to memorize. I'd be very interested. I know people use rhymes um, and I don't know if they use song, but that'd be super creative uh, if so. But I use visuals and that is how I memorize it. So I hope this was informational. That's emergency squat codes, guys. If you wanna read this, I have an article about it on my website, pilotian.com, linked below. You can check out other videos on my YouTube channel. A video every Thursday, whether it's a video like this, an in-flight video, or some type of ride-along awesome thing in aviation. So make sure to subscribe. 
I really enjoy meeting you guys in aviation and on YouTube. It's pretty awesome. And until next time, bye.